Here's everything you need to know about exporting and importing items into the Webflow CMS. So let's start with exporting since it's super simple. If you just go to one of your CMS item collections and click export up here, Webflow will just automatically export it and that's about it. To import is a little more complicated, but also pretty straightforward. Up here next to export, you'll see this import button. You'll click that. It'll ask you to drag a CSV right here. So what I've done is gone ahead and used this AI data generator to just mock up a simple CSV that has the category name and position, a couple fields here and some data. So I've exported this as a CSV. And so when I go to Webflow, I'll just go ahead and drag this in here. And let's grab this one called AI data. Now it'll ask you if the first row is a header, usually a CSV is gonna have that. So I'm gonna click yes and continue. And you'll get to this import page where basically you're gonna try to map up each of the pieces of data with your Webflow CMS. So for example, in my data generator, I had a column called name one. And so on this page here, I'm going to match name one with an existing field called name. And once I do that, Webflow will give me a little preview and show that this data right here in my CSV is going to go into this field right there. Now, of course, if a field doesn't exist, like let's say position here, I can choose to not import it, or I can just create a new field and Webflow will create one for me, which is awesome give it whatever name I want. So maybe this one's called position, right? And any other helper text, just like you would if you were creating the field directly in the CMS normally. Once you're done mapping all your fields, you can go here and take a look at a couple of your records just to make sure it looks the way you want. What you'll notice as well is that Webflow will automatically create slugs for you based on the name. So as long as you map a name field, it will create that slug automatically. Once the item preview looks good, you can go ahead and just click on import. Webflow will ask if you want to create a backup. We can skip that for now and it'll automatically start the import. And within a few seconds, you'll see all this data in your CMS queued to publish. And that's really it. Now you know how to import and export items through CSV into the Webflow CMS. And of course, if you ever want to avoid importing and exporting CSVs and just want to connect and to async the Webflow CMS with other tools like Airtable and Google Sheets, highly recommend checking out WhaleSync. WhaleSync is a dedicated to async tool for the Webflow CMS. So it literally will take whatever's in a Google Sheet, in a Notion spreadsheet, or in Airtable, and just automatically make updates, sync across, so you can avoid doing this whole import-export thing at all.